Okay, so today I'm gonna show uh, one position I like to use from the Delahiba, actually from the Barambolo. Um, I like this option because sometimes when you go for the Barambolo, so uh, let's start with this one here. I'm gonna start with the grip on the collar and the ankle. From here, I don't like to shoot my Delahiba so deep when I go for the Barambolo. Instead, I just focus on opening his base first. So I'll use my free leg here to just open his leg, open this leg here. So I kick on the inside of his thigh. And at the same time, I pull just a little bit on the collar. Now from here, I use my foot on the ground. Okay. So the foot on the mat does a lot. I think a lot of people undervalue this. So instead of trying to move him to the side right now, where his base is a little bit stronger and my hooks aren't as strong on his hips, I go and I move my hips just a little bit here. This adjustment makes a really big difference, okay? Now, what that also does is it gives me a pull in a different direction. If I'm here and I try to pull with the grip on the collar like this, I'm pulling him where his base is really strong. But if I open his base and then I pull from the side, it's really hard for him to stop. So instead, look, when I'm here, I pull and then I feel all of his weight loaded on this hook. I pull and then I shoot him to the side like this. Okay, so one more time. So I open his base, move him to the side. And look, I'm not really laying on my, my back like this. I'm up on my elbow. Again. One, two, three. Now Mateus is on the on the mat. His hips are on the ground. Now from here, I'm gonna shoot this leg back up to his body. But what I really want to do is I want to get over his knee. Okay, so what I mean by that is when I bring this leg back, I'm not just gonna like kind of lazily throw it up here. Instead, I'm gonna clamp this leg like this. I'm gonna isolate this leg here. So I go over and I lash it right onto his hip. Now from here, when I shoot to go underneath, this is gonna be really hard for him to skate, okay? So from here, I go to the deep delahiba and I have his hips controlled and now the grip on the collar is gonna to go to the belt. Now the very, uh, spin this way for you. The variation we're gonna to work today is really strong. I feel like, uh, if I always go for the back or really a uh, good position, sometimes I'll lose it because the guy will, uh, he knows he's in jeopardy for me, like either getting to the back or the mount and he starts to freak out. So when I start to go underneath, he starts scooting back and then my position gets lost and then I end up having to restart. For the Baron Bowley, you have to make like a lot of adjustments sometimes, especially when the guy's moving, when the guy's constantly trying to push your hooks away. Like it's kind of hard and it's really hard if you're not super flexible. Like I'm flexible in some ways, but in other ways, uh, I lack that flexibility to kind of constantly be making those adjustments. So this, this variation is gonna be really strong. And it, it's gonna be especially strong, strong if you're bigger because it's a lot harder to make those adjustments if you're bigger and you don't have the flexibility and the speed and the, the knowledge to like always be adjusting and chasing him. So from here, I go inside, I grab the belt. As soon as I start to roll underneath, it doesn't really matter what he does from here. I'm just gonna hold on to the belt and then I'm gonna roll all the way through and then up into this position, okay? Like the mount. I'm gonna pull on his belt like this because it controls his hips. And sometimes the fight here is gonna be getting underneath this knee, okay? Mateus is gonna wanna throw this knee underneath me here to get into the one-legged X. But if I can keep my hips saddled onto his leg like this, it can make it really hard. And then from here when he's hip escaping, uh, like either way, either side, so if he's trying to get up or if he's trying to hip escape into me to get that knee inside, I'm just constantly fighting him here. Okay, this is really strong because I'm like one step ahead. He's just trying to catch the X and I'm already on top securing my position. The two points is there. It's really hard for him to, to like stand up in base and escape the sweep because I've got his hips. 
And in the like chaos of him trying to stand up, I find it a lot easier to pass. Okay? So I can go for the long step. When he's trying to bring his, his X guard in, I can find the knee cut if I windshield wipe this hook inside. I just try to keep the, the scramble going. Does that make sense? Yes. So, from here, I open his base, move to the side, and drop Mateus's hips to the mat. Now from here, I'm now I go for the deep del heva, and I get my hook over his leg. Okay, I don't want this knee out. If this knee is outside, and I start to go up, upside down like this, I'm losing a lot of control. And then that's when I have to make those adjustments to get a lot tighter to him here, and then restart. And that's all time that he can use to get, escape and get away. So, instead, I just open, boom, and I get there first. This leg pops over his knee. Now I go for the belt, and as soon as I get the belt, that's all I need. There's not much else. Once I get the belt, I'm just gonna tuck my head inside, roll and start to come up for the mount like this from here i'm pinching my knees and pulling up on his hips of course this isn't the most secure position but i'm already anticipating this i know his his options from here if he just tries to get up onto that elbow he's going to be super late i can go to the back i can really start to sink down into the mount his best option from here is to uh, frame and hip escape this way because his legs are a lot stronger and this is the weakness of the position, my leg on this side. So from here, look, I can get up, switch my grip to the pants, and my hand goes on the mat here. Now I just sit on his chest and I can work my long step. Another option is when we're here, when we're here and he starts scooting in, this is a good option for me to, uh, this is a good opportunity for me to put my hook inside. Now from here, start working with the, for the knee cut right away. Worst case scenario, you're gonna end up like in the one-legged X. And with the one-legged X, I still have the grip on the pants. I'm holding him down. And what's really good about this is I feel like since you just swept him, don't wait here. As soon as you sweep him, start working to pass. Start working to get up, you know, pry the leg open, and he's always gonna be one step behind. Okay, so keep him there. Keep him in that, that position where he's always trying to catch up to you. Can you tie your belt for me? Yeah, sure. Any questions? Yes. Yeah. I feel like when I'm playing against you, you, you play a different Delahiva hook. You have it where like if I'm pushing down on the Delahiva, it's hard to break. Uh -huh. And there's something that you're doing that um, makes it really tight. I think well, it's like a little different. When I make the Delahiva hook, I just try to focus on on this leg. I don't I don't try to like shoot it across as much. And uh, like when my tennis goes to push my Delahiva hook, I try to extend it like up. I try to get it, my toes up towards the ceiling. And at the same time, I sit up to my elbow here. Now from here, try to get rid of my deli hook. It makes it a lot harder. And at the same time, if you're like constantly trying to work to get behind him, it makes your hook even much, even that much stronger. Try to get rid of my hook, like this. Now from here, I pull and get my hook underneath. Grab the belt. Roll, and then I go for the mount. Try to really focus on pinching your knees, okay? And pulling the hips up. Now from here, if he starts to hip escape into me, boom, I can switch my grips and long step. Or work for the knee cut. Any questions? All right, let's go, one, two, three. Let's work back and forth.